Oh my gorgeous lot, it's Mega Gran here again with my Building a Zoo series on Vintage Beef's Zawa server. Now then, before we get on to today's build, I want to show you what I got up to on the Zawa server over the Christmas period. And it was quite exciting stuff. First, I visited Santa's Grotto and put my name in the chest to get a gift during the week before Christmas. So that was exciting. Right, okay, had to go and find an anvil. So pop that in there. And we'll see what we get at the end of the video. Oh, who's that handsome young chappy? Gosh, they've made such a good job of this. Then I went to check out Warp Island because there was a competition. I think it's here that we're supposed to come. Oh, this is so nice. Look at this. It's very wintry. Presents and cakes. Ooh, delicious. Now then, let's have a look at the board. Everything's to be completed by the 19th of December. The build theme is Winter Wonderland. You've got to find a plot. And first place is four animals. Second is three and third is two. Right then, let me see if I can find it. I'm not very good with directions and I'm always getting lost. So that's a sign. Winter Wonderland this way. Okay, that's good. Let's go down here. Oh, look, a skating ring. Oh, it is a bit slippery as well. Got to be careful. Maybe it's still... Oh, this looks like plots. Yeah, this is it. This is where I'm supposed to be. Nice. So I got on with claiming my plot. And it was one whole chunk. So I needed to get to work. So I collected a load of material and got to work on thinking how I was gonna make my idea materialize. It's not always easy putting those first blocks down and starting. And it wasn't until I put those first blocks down that I realised this is a tiny space. And it took me a few false starts before I actually got going. I actually finally realised that I had to use every spare block at my disposal, which included the boundary wall, which was showing me where I was supposed to build. So that went, and that gave me another extra block on this side. Because what I wanted to do was a row of terraced houses, a small row of terraced houses on Christmas Eve. And that wasn't going to be a small task. And after a lot of trial and error, I'd built something that started to look like a little house. And then I got to the stage where I felt my first house was complete. Well, not totally complete, because I couldn't complete it until I'd built all the others. But it was acceptable. It looked like a house. And if I kept each one four blocks wide, I could fit three on each side of the street. I hoped to make them all different, but I thought that was a bit unrealistic. And I made my next one out of brick. And I thought that went quite well. And the last design of house I built was a terracotta and stone. And I did make minor changes through all of them as the build went along, as you do when you're building on the fly. But I thought, yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. And now I just need to replicate this on the other side. But I might put them in different positions, just to change it up a bit. First I wanted to see how it looked with snow around it, just to see if it gave the feel that I was going for. And I thought it did. I thought it was coming on really well. I'd added some trees in between, holly trees of course, and it was getting the sort of feel I was after. So I built the houses opposite and we had a street and I mixed them up to give it variability. And I think it worked out really well. The roofs were looking a bit bland though until I had the idea of actually replacing some of the roof tiles for blocks of snow. And I think that added quite a lot to the wintry feel. Now I needed to give it a Christmassy feel and in particular a Christmas Eve feel. Well, after trying lots of different things, I've found that there are very few things I can attach to these houses in the appropriate places. So I've resorted to white glass panes, which looked quite a lot like icicles and gave it a, a really cold, wintry feel. Which isn't what I planned, but then I hadn't tried them, so that was my big mistake. And my last addition was in a very precarious place. I was going to be working over the rooftops. I bet you've guessed correctly already. And I'm trying to get a good view of it now I've done it. 
And there's Santa Slay on top, coming over with his reindeer. It's not easy to get a good view when you're flying with an elytra. And just one last thing I added at the very last minute. There we go. I had to seal him in though with glass on either end. But I wasn't sure whether the entity clear would get rid of him or not. But I hung about until the next one came. But I was quite chuffed with that. Yeah, I was quite pleased. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, but I was quite happy with it in the end. Ooh, an entity clear. Let's see. Yep, he's still there. Now it's the week before Christmas and I've got my red gift. Wow. There's loads in here. Abandoned penguin. Polar bear. Nice. Totem of Undying. Wow. Wow, this is a box full of goodies. Oh, I love that. That's... That's really awesome. Now for the 12 days of Christmas. Let's have a read. From December 13th to December 24th, you can claim a gift every day. These presents will remain open until December the 31st if you're unable to get that the presents on that day. Wow. Okay then, I'm excited to open my presents. Okay then, number one present. <laughs> Nice, you have collected one head. I'll be watching you. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, I'm being watched. <laughs> okay then, number two. What did I get then? Oh, a golden carrot. Number two. <gasps> you have found two of 12. <gasps> Another polar bear I've got, wow. Okay, number three, some diamonds. Nice. Number four. A netherite pickaxe. That is very nice. Number five is raw beef, 32. That's nice. Oh, I'm a stuck. I can't get in here. Can I get in here? Uh, all right, there, there we are. Abandoned penguin spawn egg. Wow, that is awesome. Nice. Oh, the others are on the other side. Let's go around there then. Okay, so number seven is over here. Wow! 10,000! <laughs> that is awesome! Oh, some emeralds. Nice. And a mystery snail. <laughs> awesome! And I think I can collect one more today. That's number 10 over here in the corner. So... Let's have a look. Cookies! <laughs> so I'll come back for 11 and 12 a little bit later. Nice. Now then, where was I with these? Uh, had I collected... Had I collected 10 already? I can't remember. Did I collect that? Oh yes, you've already found this head. Okay then, that's okay. So I just had these last two. Okay, what did I get then? Oh, a snow leopard spawn egg. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that made me jump. Good grief. And now we've come back to find out the winners of the competition. Wow. How awesome is that? Well, let's go and have a look at some of the others. This is a wintry scene from Founded Ash. And it's looking like the top of chimneys and... There seems to be a hidden house here. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Oh, this has got a lot of red in it. A very Christmassy colour. Is that the back of Santa's sleigh there? Oh, I like that. I could have done with a dinky little sleigh like that for my build. This is Kelvilar's claim. And they got third place. Nice. Oh, look, they've got some reindeers there. Some real ones. Dunder. And, oh, I can't see that one. Let's get inside. Can I see it from in here? Rudolph, oh yes, of course. Oh, there's lots of things flicking up there. What are these? <laughs> what have I picked up? Uh, these cookies. <laughs> and then Joe P. Reckelhoff. This is a nice building. And it looks like there's some kind of ritual. Could it be some kind of religious ritual? I'm not quite sure. It looks like a Japanese temple. <coughs> Ringing the bell, clapping and bowing. I think so. I think that's what it is. Nice. Nice build. Now then, what have we got here? Please take one. Bubbleberries. Oh, this is um, Same, I think. Oh, this is nice and wintry. 
like all the snow everywhere, so it did a lot of snow in there and all the Christmassy things you would see. Nice. And a penguin! Well, that definitely fits in with the snowy theme, doesn't it? That's Africa Fist claim. Nice. I love that penguin. <laughs> oh, and this looks like a gingerbread house. Oh, this is Corno's claim. So this won second place. Oh, I can't go in. I can't go in. Can we see through the windows? Let's have a look. Oh, it looks very cosy in there. Oh, that's a nice build. Oh, and this has got a slate above the roof as well. Nice. Now, this one. Let's have a look. Jagged frames. This looks a very nice little cottage. A wintry cottage. Let's have a look. Jagged frames, winter cabin. I nearly got it right, didn't I? Nice. Well, what nice bills. Well, my prize was four animals of any variant, so I chose two dwarf crocodiles, because they're very hard to find, and two variants that I hadn't got for the tufted deer. And I think I'll build for the crocodile in the next episode. This week, I'm going to do an orangutan exhibit, which was suggested by Theon. So thank you for that, Theon, and it's going here right next to the mandrill. Now, I must mention and apologise for not including the recording of me naming these mandrels in the last episode. We have Rafike and Minde, and Simon Holmes also suggested Rafike. So this mandrel was going to be Rafike one way or the other. And we'll have a little look at those a little bit later on, and I'll show you their names. This is going to be another round build, and I've already marked out the circle that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use jungle wood because the Sumatran orangutan live in dense rainforests. And we're going to be able to look down into the exhibit to see what the orangutans are getting up to. So I'm replacing the blue netherrack with the jungle wood logs. And they're standing on end because we're going to be able to go up to them and see them. And I'm wanting to put the dome on the inside of that so you get a clear view. Oh, what was that? What is that? Oh, no. Let me just get a net out. I am sure that is a dwarf crocodile. Let me have a look. That does look... Oh, what else? Excuse me, but you're not wanted here. Okay, let me have a look. I'm sure that is a dwarf crocodile. It is. It is one. Oh, I can't, uh, I can't see. Oh, there is a grumpy dwarf crocodile believe that has just spawned here when I've been going to swamps and looking for dwarf crocodiles for absolutely ages. Oh my goodness me. I'm going to have to keep coming out here and having a look. Oh, that is awesome. Now I'm beginning to think that I might have to get my beacon out because there's an awful lot of stone here and I think underneath this dirt is going to be totally stuck. Oh, a cave. Yes, I think it's stone under here. Where did I come down? Okay, let me get back up again. Yes, I definitely need a beacon. So I'm just going to get this set up and then we'll carry on. And I sh feel sure we're going to make much better progress. That's much better. I've done the outside circle, as you can see. And I'm trying to pick up everything before the entity clear because you never know when you'll need it. I'm thinking that might do. I think that might be big enough. Yeah, I think we need to get on with the walls now. And I'm thinking jungle wood again, but stripped jungle wood. With other blocks in for a bit of variability, I think. So let's try that out and see how that looks. Right, we've got a wall in. I've stripped that. I'm just going to knock out random blocks. And I think we might try a little bit of stripped oak in there. Because there are lighter colours like that in there. So, there we've got oak. Let's see how that looks. Put that in there. And in there. Right, let's strip that. Okay. I think I might need another colour though. Um, let's go see. 
Now I wasn't going to try acacia in here, but on the way back I thought I had a thought about putting jungle planks in there. And I think that is going to do a lot better. I think the acacia would be too orangey. So I'm just going to put a few of these in and see how that looks. I think this should be it for the walls, I think. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. Okay, now we're onto the floor and I want this all grassed over. Although I am thinking of putting some leaves in there. So, but I want a clean palette to start with, so we'll take it all out and replace it with grass. Okay, this is nearly done. And it looks quite a big enclosure. But actually, when I get all the things in, I'm planning to get in. I think it will feel quite small. Earlier, I went out looking for some orangutans. I did have one orangutan that I found myself. And I also had one spawn egg for a orangutan, but I didn't know what that was. So let me show you what happened when I went out to have a look. I did need to ask in chat if anybody knew a spot that spawned orangutans. And Bose came up trumps. Now I've just TP'd to Bose, who's very kindly shown me their spot for finding orangutans. They found several here, so I'm quite confident that if I spend enough time here that I should find some. So I'm just going to have a look around and see what we can see. Quite a few things spawn in here actually. There's capybara over there. There's some skunks there. Whoa! And I need to find my footing and see what I can see. Oh! <gasps> this one there straight away oh my goodness just a minute i love you thank you now it's quite a while since i caught that other mandrill and i haven't seen any more but that sounds like one where is it oh it's over there it's over there and it looks like a different one let me catch it, let me catch it. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna use this spawn egg and we got an orange Sumatran orangutan. So I'm just gonna see what the others are. We got a tangerine, a lemon, and a grapefruit, a full set. Now for the main part of this exhibit, which is going to be a gigantic tree that's going to be in the middle. I've tried four saplings together and growing it with a ceiling, but it just won't grow at all. I don't think jungle trees grow with anything above them at all, so I'm going to have to build one. I'm going to speed it up because it did take me quite a long time. I wanted to create lots of layers with this tree so that the orangutans could climb onto them and they could climb on easily from one layer to another and also to have enough space underneath each layer to hang things down from so this was hopefully going to be the main part of the middle part of the tree and then the leaves would create the layers as they came out from the middle now it probably didn't look like it was going to be anything in particular except maybe a cactus or on a prairie but i could see where i was going to put the leaves so i could see how it was going to finish up and i just hoped that it would do once i put the leaves on there was a little bit of nibbling away and a little bit of addition along the way a little bit standing back and a little bit of i think this might go there but once I started laying down the leaves, it started coming together fairly quickly. A little bit of indecision there, but we got there in the end. And I wanted it as high as I could possibly make it. In fact, it was above the level of the ground, but there was going to be a dome on top, so that wasn't going to matter. Right, because this is going quite well, I think. And I've, I've unintentionally... I've, oh, there's one there. I need to just put that over there. That's it, so I can put something on from underneath. I've unintentionally created a sort of a spiral with this tree. 
which looks quite effective actually. I'll show you in just a second. Let me just put that under there. I've been creating these logs underneath as well. They look part of the tree, but actually I've just stuck them in there because they are, those are what I'm going to hang ropes and uh, and the leaf browsers from. I'm thinking that's looking okay. Let me show you that spiral I was talking about. There we go, look at that. And I really, really like that. So, uh, let me see. Let's put some ropes on and see how those look. Now, they do attach to... No, no, I didn't mean to do that. Right, I need to get up here. They do attach to other leaves, so I've got to be careful where I put them because I don't want them attaching to leaves. And if I put my cursor on the side instead of the bottom, I get a, a joint, and I don't want a joint in the middle of the rope. So, let's see. Just another one, I think, because I don't want it attached to that. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. You've got to get your cursor in the right place. Right, I'm going to play some leaf browsers, but um, just adding a few more leaves there. I might put more around the bottom. These might not stay here. It's just how it will all look when it's all together. Um... Yeah, I like that one up there. Let's pop one there. Um, let's see. Put some more leaves around this side. I uh, don't want to put too much around there because that's like if they want some shelter, you could go under there. Uh, I can bring this out a bit more, I think. Yep. That's it. So I'm trying to give it a feel of closeness and leaves and undergrowth. Putting some tyres on now. Put one over there. But I wanted this one to be a sort of a horizontal tyre. Uh, a up. Excuse me, you're not wanted here. Um, I think I have to get right underneath it for that. Let's see. Can I... Okay, that's how I do it. So, But that's too high. I don't want it up there. So I might have to move a leaf or two to get that in place. So let me put a bit more rope. Where's my rope? There it is. Let me get that under there. And then, so I want it on that one, I think. I can't get it from here. I think it'll just be uh, a horizontal one. That might be too low, actually. Can I get it there? No, it's um, I think got to be more underneath it. There we go, that's it. Let me put that leaf back. That leaf browse might be a bit too close. I might hang all the leaf browsers actually. I'm not quite sure. Let's add a few more leaves here. And yeah, I think that's looking okay. Uh, one there. Could I put one there? Yeah. Okay. Right. Now I'm thinking that I might put leaves all over the floor, but I wouldn't want them to have stone underneath them. That means I might have to remove all that stone under there and replace that with grass. I'm going to do a sort of a climbing frame here. I think a combination of slabs, trapdoors, and these fences might do it. Don't need to be complicated, I just need them to be able to climb up it. Right, some slabs so they can get on top of the fences. I'm going to use trapdoors here. Should be able to get up on there, I think. Now then, some more trapdoors um, on top of here. Right, let's have a look. Oh, I don't like those slabs down at the bottom. That's too blocky. Actually, I don't think I need them round here at all. I just carried on putting them down. So let's take all these off 
just have them exactly where they need to be which is around this side here get up there get up there then get up there I might make that so they can climb on the tree from here, actually. Right, another one here. Oh, no. No, no, I don't like that. I wish that rope wouldn't attach itself to everything. Um, that way. That way is just as good, I think. Let's have a look. Yep, a couple more trapdoors there. Yep. Okay, I like that. Uh... Let's have a look. This is not too close to the wall, so that'll be alright. But it doesn't matter anyway, because there's going to be a dome. Okay. Now, I don't, that, I don't like that big square there. Let's get rid of that corner. There we go. I think that will look better. And I wonder... Could I put some rope underneath? Dangling down there? Let's have a look. There we go. That's very short. I'm going to have to put another one on, but it'll be on the floor then. But you've got to imagine it's not attached to the floor. That's a swinging rope. Let's have a look. That one there. Uh, another one around here, maybe? Yeah, I think that's alright there. I think they'll have lots of fun on there. Okay, now I want to put sort of a, a sort of a, a ladder frame here. You know what I mean? In a minute, hang on a minute. I think I want something a bit stronger for the legs. Uh, let's try fences there instead. See how that looks. Yeah, yeah. I think that's better. I'm going to have something on the side here so that you go through the middle. Yeah. And we're going to have some leafage around it as well. Okay, that's uh, filling up nicely. That's filling up nicely. And of course, I've got to have a little pond in here. So this is where I've chosen to put it. There we go, just a bit of gravel and coarse dirt in the bottom there. Probably another coarse dirt there. That's it. I just need to fill it up now, I think. Just before I do that, I've been thinking about this, and I think I'd like to fill this in as a grid. So I'm going to try this and see what it looks like. And probably even have some hanging ropes in there. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that looks better, actually. I think it does. They can get all the way around here, can't they? Yeah, I'm quite liking that. I like this. I like that they'll be able to get up here. I can just imagine them up here. Oh, not that way, but they can get up that way. I'm sure they'll find the way up and right up to the top. It'd be nice seeing them all over the place. I think maybe I might get some more. I'm not sure if four is enough. Right, what did I say I was doing? Right, that's nearly done. Uh, let's have a look. I think over this side, it's too straight on that side, isn't it? Let me just uh, let me just get rid of one of those water blocks. Yeah, yeah, I think that's better. Yeah. Now then. Um, I've deliberated over this long enough and I just don't like all this grass on top. It's got to be underneath so I can put leaves on. There we go. Right. Oh, I've only two leaves left. Okay. So, well, actually, while I'm here, I need to think about lighting as well. Let me just see what options we've got again. Huh. I have been using the green ones a lot. But I think I'd like them to be different from green because I've got a lot of green down there. Well, it's all green, isn't it? I'm going to try these. 
Maybe with some jungle trapdoors? Let's see how that looks. And I think I'll put some around the outside of the walls. So I need to chop this out a little bit. I think I'll put them fairly evenly as well. So pop one in there and one in there. Those are going to look okay. Let's stand back and see what they look like. Yeah, yeah, they fit. Now, I think I'm going to have to do something about just underneath the wall there. The middle bit looks okay. But not the outside bit. I can see the stone. Need to get rid of that, I think. wonder what... Um, Maybe some green wool? Oh. Yep, that's what I was going for. That looks like dense jungle to me. All the browsers now, except one on the floor, are hanging. So I'm quite happy about that. Some logs just scattered about the place. And now some leaves. And a lot of them is in a dense jungle. That's all you'd see, really. No, I don't like that light in the middle. Bury some glowstone in there instead. And I think that looks better. I'm going to add a, a little activity right on the top of here now to bring it up even further. And I know that'll attach there, but I think I'm going to sacrifice that for the whole thing. And a rope swing there. You've got to imagine that this is free swinging. And a tie swing there. And another one there. Yeah, quite like that. Some Bromleys around the pond. I can't resist a pond. I really can't. Some Amazon swords in the bottom there to give it that green tinge when you look at it. That's coming along okay. Uh, we'll have some small lily pads, I think, in just one or two places. And I'm not expecting any drowning problems from these orangutans. Just wanted to add a bit of extra texture to these logs, so I'm just going to put a few of these ladders on. I'm just trying. Hmm, don't like that at all. I don't think there would be. I don't know if there would be bright flowers actually, but I just want some plain vines, so I think I'm just going to put those on. That's it. I want to get this dome on now, just to see how it all looks once that's on. And you're going to be able to come right up to the dome and see down inside, so hopefully that'll work. Okay, looking round, um, I've got the dome on, by the way, and uh, just looking round, there's not that much room for anything else now. And I think that would work quite well. Yeah. The last thing I'm going to put in are these patches of grass, and I'm going to add some foliage down here. Some ferns and some palms as well. And I think those are the only ones that I'm going to use. And you can come right up to the glass and see right down. And you should be able to see the orangutans anywhere. All right, let's get them in. Okay, so here we've got the grapefruit and she is a female. <laughs> Then we have the lemon. Oh, it's very light colour. Let's put uh, let's put him on here. It's a male. There we go. Nice. We'll pop the tangerine here. And then the last one is the orange one. And she is a female there. So four names. Four names I need. Two male and two female. And I'd love it if you could come up with them. 
Okay, let's have a look. Oh, they've all climbed up. Oh, they've all climbed up the wooden walls. Well, maybe they just need to settle down in there. Because the, the spider monkeys did that originally, and then they were all over the place. There, look. They're going to the... Oh, they're going back up the wall. Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully they'll settle down, and we'll be able to see them in different areas within this exhibit. Mm. Now then, let's have a look at Rafiki and Minde. I just wanted to show you that I had named them. There's Minde. And there's Rafiki, a male and a female. They're a pair. And they seem very happy in there, and they get all over that exhibit. So I'm quite happy about that. I need to get in that glass. No, that wasn't the right one, was it? I need to get rid of this one. Can I nip in and... Yeah. That's okay. They seem happy in there. You see, they didn't try and get out. Awesome. So that'll be it for this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to be doing the dwarf crocodile. So take care, everybody. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.